Hey everyone! Welcome back to Optimal Anesthesia. Today, we're diving into the world of nerve cells, the tiny powerhouses that send messages throughout our body. For anesthesiologists, these neurons are key to understanding how anesthesia works. Let's break it down. At first, we're diving into one of the most essential neuron states, the resting membrane potential, the neuron's calm state where it's not firing but primed to act. This resting state is maintained by three main processes, one, ion gradients, sodium and potassium ions are kept in specific balances across the neuron's membrane, creating a battery effect, much like a charged phone ready for use. 2. Selective Membrane Gates The neuron's membrane acts like a bouncer, selectively allowing potassium to move more freely while restricting sodium, keeping the inside charge negative. 3. Sodium-Potassium Pump This energy-driven pump expels three sodium ions for every two potassium ions it takes in, maintaining the calm, negative resting state, like a car idling, ready to move. These systems keep neurons poised and ready to fire whenever needed, essential for precise responses during anesthesia. The neuron works like a traffic light system, guiding signals smoothly. When it hits minus 55 MV, it's the green light moment, sodium channels open, and now ions flood in, energizing the neuron to send its signal down the line. But the light can't stay green forever, so, next comes the yellow light. Potassium channels open, and K ions flow out, gradually bringing the charge back down and calming the neuron. Finally, it hits the red light, resetting the neuron to its resting potential, calm and fully prepared for the next signal. After an action potential, the neuron takes a breather in what we can think of as two special traffic signals, the refractory periods. First up, the absolute refractory period are neurons all stop or solid red light. Right after firing, the neuron is completely closed for business, no signals allowed, just like when all cars stop to let pedestrians cross. Then comes the relative refractory period, the yellow cautioned phase. Here, the neuron is still in a slightly hyperpolarized state, like a flashing yellow light, meaning it can activate but only with a strong push, like a car needing an extra nudge to start on a steep hill. These refractory periods help keep the neuron's signals smooth and orderly, just like a well-timed traffic system, ensuring signals don't collide and allowing the neuron to reset for its next message. And that's our intro to how neurons use resting potential, action potential, and refractory periods. But we're just getting started. In the next episodes, we'll dive deeper into how different anesthetics like volatile agents, local anesthetics, and four drugs use these processes to manage pain and keep the brain calm for surgery. So, hit subscribe and stay tuned, you won't want to miss it. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.